Okay, welcome to my first episode of my thrifting series of styling my way to Spain. I am gonna go to the thrift store. It's 50 cent day. I haven't been to 50 cent day in years, like probably six years, and I'm so excited. Where did it go? My vibe for today is I'm gonna try and recreate something like this. I also found these bags that I'm kind of obsessed with. I'm just gonna go and see what I can find. I also found like this thrift remake that someone did. I don't even know if it's a thrift remake, but they did like rhinestones down their jeans. So my thought for today is I definitely want to do denim. Denim is the vibe. I'm going to go see what I can get. I really want to do that patch skirt. And so I feel like 50 cent day is the day to go because I can get all of those jeans and all the patches for 50 cents. I would go on 25 cent day, but I'll be working. So let's go see what I can find. I just got here. Let's go in. Let's see what I can find. I'm feeling pretty hopeful, but I do need to be home in like, I don't know. I basically, I don't have a lot of time. I do need to be home soon. I got to probably get in and out in like, I don't know, an hour at max. Not even because it's traffic. I got like maybe 30 minutes. So let's see what I can find. <laughs> Okay, so inflation raised the price of everything and it's 75 cents and not, what was it, 50 cents? I found pants. I keep going. I really wanted Tommy Hilfiger. And this one's a pretty little thing. So, there we go. Okay, look how cool this tag is that I found. I think that's gonna look so cute on the skirt. This is the haul. It was $25. Hopefully I have enough labels and we'll just see. And I got three bonus things that weren't even included. So you really can't beat that. I cut it literally so close, but here we go. I got everything for $25 and 44 cents. It was 32 pieces. Tonight is just gonna be like taking all the labels off. I need to get home so bad. I'm cutting it so close. I really need to be there like in an hour and five minutes and I'm like 40 minutes away. So we'll see how it goes. This is my big pile. I have my little seam ripper that I made it was broken so I had to make a new version of it and I'm just going through and cutting all the tags off of all of them except the Levi's I noticed that in the bags a lot of them were Levi's already and they all had the tags left on them because <laughs> they weren't making a skirt okay there we go first tag down which was there's the first tag. Then likely I'm just going to be sitting here all night ripping seams and watching TV, but I think it'll be fun. And I think I might steal all these belt loops too, but it's another thing that I'm going to wait on because I feel like they would be really fun to make something out of. I might even turn these jeans into the skirt because they're kind of about my size, I think. These are the ones from Pretty Little Thing. I was really excited when I saw them. They're not my size, which kind of sucks. I might crop this tag and get rid of this because I don't really want any sizing. I want them to all be like that. And I might even cut the Made in China and just keep the pretty little thing boyfriend part. But I'm gonna cut the whole tag in its entirety and then make those decisions once I do the skirt. Kind of think I might turn this one into a bag, but I think that would be cute. We can be friends but i'd like to just pre-heating stuck in my head i ripped it on accident no i ripped it crap okay this is your sign to be careful if you're trying this at home i messed it up i'm so sad Oh, dang it. It's okay. I'll figure out something to do with it, whether I have to just cut all of it or what. I don't know, but I'm so upset. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Sad. Oh, well. I will be going slower from here on out. Lesson learned. labels 
all over the thrift store and all I'm saying is why could I have not been born in 1989? Had I been born in 1989, this would be so much cooler, but here we are. Nonetheless, way cool. I need someone to take one for the team and start a company brand that says established 2000, even if it wasn't established in 2000, so that I can have this. I don't need to make too many things because I'm gonna end up having to sell some or give them away because I'm not gonna be able to get all of this to Spain. I'm gonna do all the rest of the labels and then I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow on the next step. So I tried on these jeans out of the big stack and they seem like I could probably make a mini skirt out of them. I wanted to do a light wash, but I feel like dark wash will be cute too. So I am gonna get fabric scissors later, but just for now I'm thinking like I'll cut them somewhere around here while they're on so I have an idea of where I want it to be and then I can always make it shorter. I know I'm gonna have to recut this with fabric scissors so I'm not doing anything too crazy. This reminds me so much of high school. This is giving me like skinny jeans 2016 vibes so hard right now. Like I used to make my own ripped jeans back in the day from thrift store stuff and this is giving me totally the same vibe. I feel like long jean shorts are such a small mini skirt. If you don't cut right on top of yourself, I respect you. However, I'm too lazy. One side, down. This feels like jean shorts my mom used to make me wear as a kid because she didn't want me to wear the short ones. This is hilarious. Honestly though, low-key cute. There we go. Are they perfect? No. Is my mini skirt going to be even shorter than this? Yes. But it is a good starting point. For sure. I'm also going to turn this one into a mini skirt for sure. I kind of liked it long too. Like, let me just show you. But I just don't know that I have anything to style with it. And I think a mini skirt like this would just be so much cuter. So I'm going with this vibe instead. But I'm going to wait to cut this one because I feel like I need an even cut. And then here's the other part too is once I undo the seam, is it going to be way too short. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unrip the seam and see how that goes. Okay, my thought is that I'm just gonna rip this seam right in here, which I guess is good anyway. I didn't realize it was all ripped up. These might actually not work. We're gonna find out, but then I'm gonna put a piece of fabric in between these two, so maybe it will work, maybe it won't. I'm definitely gonna have to cut some of it because I didn't realize that it was that worn in. I might have to get a different pair. This seam has been easier to rip than the other ones though, I will say. I don't know that I'm doing that good of a job at this, but it is a job, so. I know there's like faster ways to rip seams, but I feel like I'm really good at accidentally ripping the fabric instead of the seams, so slow and steady wins the race for me, personally. I feel like such a grandma with my glasses and my seam ripper trying to get this done right now <laughs> but maybe i should just say i feel like a designer which for the record not what i'm trying to do but you never know maybe one day never say never in the words of justin bieber i'm gonna sample that at the beginning of my first fashion show it's my destiny i will never say never <laughs> back it is a little bit rough right here i don't feel like that's unfixable like i could probably patch it this skirt it's really a skirt, but it's about the length that i want so i'm gonna just try and compare it to that and see what we're working with this ends just about the same length i feel like a genius and then this back side just needs to be cut a little bit more which I feel like right there is probably perfect, which is exactly what I'm missing. I don't have my fabric scissors, but I'm still gonna cut. So I feel like lengthwise, I actually cut pretty close. It's almost perfect with this other skirt that I'm trying to mirror. So I think I'm just gonna cut it even right here. I might have to let it be frayed on the end. It's kind of jagged, but it's okay. Is it perfect in the back? No. But is it pretty close? Yeah. I'm gonna slip this back on just to see where it hits now. Honestly, this is not bad. I don't think at least. That clearly needs some help. But lengthwise, we're, I feel like we're doing pretty good because it is gonna be tucked. I might be cutting it kind of close. 
I don't know, I have half a mind to like add a little pleat to it at the bottom and make it like frilly Y2K, but that just feels really involved. I want this to crisscross a little bit more like this and be just a little bit tighter. This is usually where I have my mini skirts, is somewhere around here. But this is a really, really good start. So this is what I am working with currently. I feel like it's really cute, honestly, but I just need to figure out like what alterations need to be made. So I know I tried it on the other night. I'm gonna try it again. See really like what needs to be done and just start pinning. It's honestly not that bad as is, but I definitely want it shorter and I'm gonna need a pin where that would be, which I think maybe like right about here. This definitely needs to be ripped up too, like up to here, so that I can pin it. There's just so many seams to rip. Without any context, this looks so odd. I feel like the length is just about where I want it anyway, at least for now. So I'm just gonna fold it and start pinning. Okay, so basically I just folded it right here, and hopefully that works. I know I probably should have got like an iron or something, but I'm lazy. I feel like once I can get this part done, then I can kind of get an idea of where I want everything else to be. My grandma would just cringe so hard if she saw me doing it like this. Perfect, 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 I think. Actually, just kidding. It looks like I didn't pin it at all. Correct. This is what I'm working with. These are the little pins. I feel like that looks cute. And then I can just work on the edge afterwards. Listen, I was going to try and do it on this sewing machine. But it's just taking me way too long to figure out, and I'm too lazy for this. So I will do the next project on the sewing machine, or if it is too hard, then I will bring the sewing machine back to life um, and try again. But for now, I'm just going to take the same string that I tried to thread on the sewing machine, and it did not work out, and put it on... Where did it go? I'm going to put it on a needle and then just do it by hand. It's going to take me longer, but like... Honestly, at this point, I've already killed so much time trying to get this thing set up that I could be done already. So, why not? This is my question. I'm just gonna... I'm really winging this. People that sew are gonna be like, what the heck is she doing? And you know what? The worst that happens is I have to seam rip all of this and try again. Oh, shit. I spoke too soon. That was not the worst that could happen. I got the string stuck. I need exactly zero people to look at how I'm doing this closely. I have no idea how to describe what I'm doing now, but it's working. The way I'm doing this is like 10 or 1000% my grandma's worst nightmare. But I'm just going to cover most of it with patches anyway. I think that's part of why I don't care. Listen, y'all, for whatever reason, my camera did not want me to win while I was doing this part. So it kept recording, but it did not get the audio. But the skirt turned out so cute. I mean, look at it. Oh, my God, it was so cute. And then I just ended up gluing on the patches with fabric glue because it was easy. And like I said, I am a lazy girl. You know, like not that lazy, but lazy enough that I'm not going to do more work when I don't have to. But look how cute it is like i love it doesn't it look so good this is a major win for me like i feel like oh, i'm so excited i can't believe it turned out as well as it did like the fact that i made this from some jeans that i got at the thrift store oh i'm so excited i feel so pinteresty i can't wait to style it i'm gonna go ahead and try and style it i have an idea in my mind of what i want to wear i have an airy event today so i think it'd be so cute to try it out there this is cute i really feel like a bralette and the sheer shirt would be such a cute little combo to try with it and I feel like it could still really highlight this skirt so that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna do like a square knot but keep it kind of loose. Honestly I slept in my jewelry last night and I like the jewelry just fine. I think this has my stack because I already slept in it and since it's mixed metals I think I want to go ahead and put on the rest of my mixed metal jewelry so I'm gonna grab that over here. These are the mixed metals that I went with I just did a few different bracelets, some mixed rings, and this Michael Kors watch. And then I'm going to go with these black boots. I think they'll just be honestly comfier than my other option, which was white boots. I really like it. I need a purse and I need some sunglasses. I did a white purse to go ahead and match this white bra. I did a gold detail up here to tie into the gold here. And you can really tell like black, gold, black, gold. Or I do gold, silver, gold. Or I'll do white, 
black and other stuff white like I'm always trying to find when I style an outfit I'm always sandwiching all the way through and I feel like it gives me a really consistent look but honestly I'm very impressed with this I can't wait to wear it to this area event today and I think it looks so good